Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Weekly Dirt. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Glad you're here. Hey, The Weekly Dirt's a weekly series I put on every Sunday where you can come end your week with me and get caught up on our metal detecting community. I'll show you some cool finds, I'll introduce you to some great channels, and I'll tell you about some giveaways and events going on that you won't want to miss a little later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Hey, if you're not already a subscriber here of Adventures in Dirt, consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the family so you can stay current on everything going on in our metal detecting hobby. Hey, great week of digging out there. I know things are hot. I hope you guys are staying cool. Hey, let's start this week with one of my favorite channels, Diggers Down Under Adventures. That's right, Neil Colston, the comic chef, out digging with his digging partner, Bolan, and they were just tearing it up in the gold fields there in Australia. Check it out this week and look what they were finding down under. Watch this. Welcome to Diggers Down Under Adventures. How beautiful is this simply glorious just down there we have a little halfpenny and she's dated 1906 if you look down here guys something we love finding a very special find look at that look at that sitting in its hole look at that a complete fob watch. Yeah. Wow, well, look at that. Somebody, well, the back's gone it, but someone one day would have gone home and they would have been mortified they'd lost this. Oh, oh look, there you go, it's still hinged. Yeah. So Simply awesome. That's it, mate. If you look down there, Neil, if you look down here, Oh, I've got boy. the two pieces to a, a buckle of some sort. Yeah. I'm just looking here, we'll just wash this uh, off here. This is a... Oh, a, mate, check that out. It's a navel bucket. It's a navel, look at that. Anchor. That's fantastic. Anchor and a rope. And what have we got here? Have we got some writing on it? Yeah. So, a few good things here. Silver fob wash, navel belt buckle. That tells us a bit more history here. Very nice. And here we have what appears to be a very large locket. And after a gentle rinse with spring water, this is what we found. But guys, have a look at this. One of the things you really want to get when you're metal detecting is a cricket buckle. And this one is an absolute cracker. <laughs> yeah, it is. Never seen this one before. It's got the batsman holding the bat. You know, it's sort of it's had a bit of life. It's been whacked around a bit in this day, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but have a look at that for a buckle. That's brilliant. Hey, if you guys like that, you really need to go check out the channel because they're always on goods like that. Old coins, old relics, digging those gold fields in Australia. Go give them a look. Links down below to Diggers Down Under Adventures. Neil Colson, the comic chef, great channel. Go give them a look. Go give them a thumbs up. Tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. Hey, great collaboration going on over in Vermont. Let's check in with Metal Detecting Vermont. As he was digging with Nugget Noggin, they got out, they found the goods. Let's look in on them. Check it out this week. Metal Detecting Vermont. Watch this. Okay, guys, it's uh, day two here with Nugget and Soren. We're in uh, a different town today. I got an odd little uh, signal in here. I just saw the tip of it. Looks like I got a sterling silver thimble in there. I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna pop it out. Oh yeah! Look at that, guys. Wow. That is beautiful. That's a really nice one. Wow. <laughs> That's a big that one too. so nice. Peace dollar, guys. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, I swung over it right before he dug it, and it was given a 94, 92. Oh, wow. Sure enough, 1921. That is, that is beautiful. I told you it was gonna be something good, Soren. Look at that. <laughs> That's a nice amazing. job, man. You're on a roll. Yeah, that's a great find. Is yours on mute? Yeah, I'm at quite. Oh, it's, it's, it's a oh, barber. Oh, my God. Wow. 1908. That's what it looks like. Yeah, 1908. Amazing find, Soren. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Congrats, man. 1908. Yeah, about walked off. Flat button. Very nice design on there. Good back mark. Awesome. Okay. I just popped the plug. Looks like I got a Canadian large scent. That's awesome. I needed it. <laughs> nice. One cent. Yeah. 
Can't see the year yet or tell what kind of variety it is, but it's a nice coin. Oh, it's a uh, Victoria, so I think it's gonna be 1800s. Nice. That's still a good one, yeah. Clean it up. It's a huge bell. Wow, that is unbelievable. It was like that in the ground, and I saw it, wasn't sure what it was, and dug it out. That is amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's a great find. Wow, Nugget and Soren just tearing it up. Boy, you guys all did a great job out there. Silver thimble, big silver coin, man. Peace dollar, are you kidding? That's amazing. But other cool relics and coins as well. Congratulations to Metal Detecting Vermont. You everyone head on over there and check it out. They've had a couple of hunts now. Boy, you got to check out a couple weeks ago. They found a GW button. Just absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Soren, on that. But everyone go check out their channel. Links down below to Metal Detecting Vermont. Go give them a big thumbs up. Hey, let's go check in with Dirt Nerds this week as they found a gold ring and they were able to return it to its owner. Many years later, it's a great story. I'm going to show it to you. Check it out this week from Dirt Nerds. Watch this. I just found my first gold ring. Look at there. Well, we know her name is Kim, whoever it is. There we go. My first ring. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Bill here with Dirt Nerds. I'm here with Kimberly and her husband. Uh, we found her class ring while we were at Freeman Lake. Uh, we just went Saturday on a whim, believe it or not. Ended up going to Freeman Lake, and I said, you know, 4th of July was just a few days ago. There's got to be people that drop stuff 4th of July. Honestly, I dug two pennies and then uh, just basically moved to a different area and said, I was like, boom, there it is. And I was like, Larry, I've got gold over here. He said, no, you don't. And I dug in there, put the pinpointer in, and I said, get out the camera. So we started recording. Tell us a little bit about um, what happened and when you lost her. I had already graduated. Just graduated. Now, did you guys both go to school together? No, he was in the military. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you guys were at Freeman Lake. Yeah. We were just there for the day. Yeah. And it was around his neck on a necklace. And it got... Just a real small chain, I yeah. take it? Yeah. Just Somehow horsing around. and Horsing it just, around, it came it off. off and... We looked for it for an hour. Oh, we wow. back the next day and looked for it and still didn't find it. Searched wow. and searched and searched. I'm pretty excited that I get to return it to you, to be honest I'm with you. So you It was pretty cool that I, I found you. It literally took me an hour and 15 minutes to find you. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> that's when I messaged you, and I thought, well, she's probably, she probably thinks that's a scam. She's not going to ever message me back. We well, lost 33 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, this, is, this is pretty exciting for me because... It's the first gold ring. I've been detecting a little over two years, and it's the first gold rings that I that I found. Wow. But there's your class ring. <laughs> wow. I mean it's amazing that it's been buried that long and it's still It's solid gold. It's not yeah. gonna it's not gonna deteriorate well, gold. Well no, but there's no dents, there's no if you look at the pictures real carefully, you can see yes. some of them, but, but not, uh, it's not as bad as it was. No. Well, I would think there would be chunks from lawnmowers yeah. or whatever throwing it. Or... So you were telling me that your dad was going to get it replaced yes. for you before you passed. Now, how long after you lost it did he decide well, to... He's been gone 20 years, so it's okay. probably about five or six years. He okay. was going to go and he went to the jewelry store because that's where we got them from. It wasn't from... Right. It was from, I forget the, even the name of the jewelry store in Ratcliffe. Uh -huh. And um, he went there and they couldn't find my exact file. And so he didn't want to have it made if it wasn't right, the exact exactly. one. Right, yeah, exactly. We, were, good there, we so. were dating and about to get married. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got married in October and, and lost it in July. If he'd, have found, <laughs> out, if he'd have found out that I lost it, that I was responsible. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Well, anytime you can return a class ring, it's always a special event, always a cool story. So, Bill, congratulations, boy. You guys over at Dirt Nerds doing a great job. Everyone go check out their channel, find that video, give them a big thumbs up. Say, hey, man, saw the return on the weekly Dirt. Want to come over and say congratulations to you. Dirt Nerds, got to go give them a look. Hey, let's go check in with the Hillbilly. That's right. Who's your Hillbilly 22 on the silver this week? Watch this. Check it out. Who's your Hillbilly 22? Watch this.
I'm not kidding you, I had just scratched the surface. Look what the roots must have pushed up. Nice and complete too. That's a beauty. I dug up this uh, old bottle. I don't know if you can read it. I believe it says Hoyt and Company Perfumers, Philadelphia. And it's all misshapen. The top's gone. But uh, what a cool find. I can't wait to get home and check that out. Just dug my first wheat. And I don't know if you can see it, but it looks to be 1918. All right, guys, pretty cool find here. Uh, you don't find this every day in Indiana. Let's get it in the sun. Got a five centavos. And uh, I don't know if you can read the date. It's 1928, and it's the Republica del Ecuador. But uh, that's pretty cool. 1928. All right. This hole just keeps giving it up. <clears throat> it's checking the edges and caught a faint signal on the uh, pinpointer and uh, pulled this baby out. I don't know if you guys can tell what that is yet or not, but uh, it's definitely silver. I'll flip it over, I haven't done any cleaning on it yet. Got us a barber quarter. So I'm pumped about that. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and see if I can get a date and I'll get right back to you. All right guys, I hit this with a little water and as you can see, 1916 barber quarter. Man, I'm pumped about that one. It doesn't look like I hit it anywhere, which is awesome. And uh, that is my uh, one and only barber quarter that I have. Hey, just some cool finds like that, right? Harmonica read, just the kind of finds you find when you're out hunting permission houses and stuff. Great job, and then you pull the big silver. Congratulations, first barber quarter you've pulled, so a big congratulations from me to you. Everyone head on over there, give them a big bunch of support, and say, hey, saw you on the Weekly Dirt, Who's Your Hillbilly, and we're here to show you some support. Good luck on your channel. Everyone go give them a look. Who's Your Hillbilly 22, link is down below. Great job. Hey, those announcements I told you about earlier, here they come. Hey, History on Earth's having a cool giveaway. I'll put the link down below to that. You can go check it out and get involved. It's a good one. History on Earth. Good luck to everyone. Randolph Relic Recovery hit 500 subs. Is having an appreciation giveaway. Everyone head on over there showing a bunch of support. Say, hey, one in on that giveaway. Link's down below. You guys can go get involved in it. Good luck and tell me some right here on the Weekly Dirt. Randolph Relic Recovery. Congratulations on the 500 subs. MD&T Harley hit 300 subs having a really cool giveaway. You need to head on over there and check it out. Links down below to that one as well. Go get involved. Tell them you saw them right here on the dirt. Give them a big thumbs up and get involved. And good luck to everyone. MD&T Harley, congratulations. Hey, I've had some good luck lately digging on my own. I got some digging videos coming up for you. Definitely be looking forward to those here in the upcoming weeks. Hey, I got some live streams coming up for you. So make sure you hit that bell and set up your notifications so you can get tuned in whenever I go live, that'd be great. But hey, if you'd like to end your week with me right here every Sunday and get caught up on what's going on here in our metal detecting world, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. We'd love to have you. Check out this video, I think you'll like it. YouTube thinks you'll like this one. Make sure you give that one a look as well. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week, and I'll see you again next Sunday.